bien passif, tu vas juste courir sur l'autre. Si c'est plus vous, c'est qui 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 Of course, she's not my daughter. Uh -huh. But I'm also a father to other children like her. No, no, no. My daughter is only my daughter. My daughter is not a daughter to any other man outside, especially a mandinka like you. Fine. I don't want to know whether you are a father or not. You are a mandinka, I am a manjago. We are never like this. My family matters are my family matters. Even if, 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 if I am to kill her, it's none of your concern. So you mind your business and allow me Treat my family the way I want to do with my family. No. Yes, if you don't know, this is child abuse <laughs> and gender-based violence. I don't even know where you're under the government. This government, but you are telling me stories. Why? Now listen to me, Father Abraham. In case you don't know, I am beating my daughter because of your family. I asked her not to associate herself with your family because you are manningas. I'm a manjago. We are not the same. Why? Stay on your line. I stay on my line. Fine. We are talking about gender-based violence, whatsoever you are talking about, I don't give a damn about it. So allow me to regulate my family the way I want to regulate my family. Please excuse me. Furu, Furu, I'm just warning you. I'm just warning you. Leave my company. Because I would not love, you know, I would not fold my hand to see you in prison. When do you of course, you? I would not like that. When do you even like it? Man? Get out Furu. of my company. I will leave. Yes, leave. I will leave. Leave. But one day, you shall see. You shall. All this nonsense is happening because of you. Because you, you have now agreed to disobey me. You see, all this is happening because of you. You, I will kill you. I will kill you. You, I will kill you. I will kill you. Let's go inside. I will kill you. My son. Yes, mom. Your dad called for a meeting, right? Yeah, of course he so did. So, where is he? I think he's inside. Okay, we should wait a little. Mm -hmm. I think it is high time you started using a wife. Especially those cute men nigga girls outside. They are very beautiful. Those man nigga girls? What is wrong with marrying a Maniga? Think of it. They are tribe, they are Mandingas. Oh. And we are Manjagos. You expect me to marry a Maniga girl? No, no, no. I cannot. I'm so not... you also follow your father's route, right? Uh, I think it's the best way. I think it's the best way, Mom. Hey, Patrick. Oh. Yes, Dad. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, Maria, where is this girl? Uh, Linda. Linda, she went out. I don't know what's what that? She was going to buy something. She was going to buy something? Yeah. Since when? Just five minutes ago. Lina! Lina! This girl is always a problem. No, she's back. I guess she's outside. Yes. Lina! Yes, Dad! You see? Where have you been? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyways. Uh, I summoned you all here. It's been a while we sat like this as a family. And there are some things I want us to clear up as a family. Understand? I know if I die today, today, I still have, have hope for my family. Because my son is here. He is capable as I am to run this family. Good. Well, there are some ways we need to differentiate ourselves from other people. We are Manjagos, we all know. Understand? We are Christians. We all know. Last time I was dealing with this idiot outside. I was dealing with her because I once said it here like this. I don't want to see any of us mingling with Mandinkas, especially our neighbors here. She was so bold to go to fetch from their well. And you expect me to be proud to call her my daughter. When I was dealing with her, the head of the family I told her not to associate with, he came here, insulting me, telling me all sorts of sorts of what, all because of this human being. I wonder why God gave me this good. Well, I just wanted us to know that election is coming. Let's categorize ourselves. We have need to categorize ourselves. Understand? Maria, this should go to the three of us. We are the ones with voters card. Let's consider something. All the Mandinkas are going to vote for you, the pink, whether you know it or not. 
all those, any tribe you have, a manding, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a manding tribe, you are, I'm going to vote for Loyadab. That is UDP. Whether you are Loyadab or who is, whoever is going to stand, they are going to vote for UDP. Let's vote for NPP. We are not going to associate ourselves with people who don't want to associate themselves with us. In fact, sometimes look at how Muslims. I wish, I always, I even wish a Christian was going to contest for this for this election. We will not even vote for NPP. Or better still, let's vote for NPP. Let's look at how Muslims behave with us. They don't even term us as brothers. When they go outside, they start saying anything. When they are with you, they smile, give you plastic smiles, as if you are brothers and sisters. It's a lie. We are sick and tired of seeing those smiles now. Let's stand as one together here. I don't want to tarnish the image of my family. So when we are going out to vote, I want us to vote for NPP. I hope I'm clear. Yes, sir. Very good. You said something. Hmm. Let's stand as one family. But why not one Gambia? Tribalism, nepotism, it has nothing. It, ha it has no positive impact in our country. When we are to vote for when we are to vote for NPP. I don't like NPP. Let me tell you that. I won't vote for NPP because it's your choice. I will vote for UDP. Being a Mandinka, a Fula, a Manjago, we are all one Gambia. Please, my husband, stop, stop nepotism and tribalism. It has nothing, no positive impact in our country at all, to be honest with you. And the way you try to treat this guy, please, I beg you, anytime CPA had of this, I am out of it. Whenever they come for you, I am out of it. Tribalism, me, I, I just don't like this, to be honest. Don't force us to vote for the party you want. But mom, that is being radical. We are Manjagos, you know, and we are part of the minors in this country. Think of it. It's like helping somebody who will later help you in the future. Our votes are very key in these upcoming ele elections. When we vote for the NPP, I bet you we stand a chance of living a better life. But the moment we give our votes to other parties, especially that UDP, the moment they take over this country, we are going to be slaves to them. Come on, mom, think of it. That is trying to be logical there. We have to follow his footsteps. He's the leader in his compound, and I think he will not lead us astray. Oh. These parties you are talking about, UDP and other stuff, they have no interest to you. What will they do for you? Okay. NPP is a promising party. Are you not seeing? Ah, mom. Very good. You know, I am always proud to call you my son, because you are a carbon copy of me. The intelligence I have is the same intelligence you have in you. Maria, listen. I don't want to get mad at anybody right now. You are always stubborn. And I came to realize because of you, this human being is becoming stupid every now and then. I gave birth to a human being. Why am I seeing a goat? Why you if you don't change? I swear, if you don't change, if I should handle you, if I should handle you, you would think alcohol drink me. When I talk, you behave as if you are my mother. Get out of this place, idiot. Get out. I'm done. Mom, I get to leave now. See? Like father, like son. I want to believe with two of you. But me, the party that I want is the same party I'll vote for. No DP. No one will, no one will force me to vote for NPP or other parties. I'll vote for the party that I want, not, not the party you want.
I haven't seen this guy. Can you see, can't see, he's cutting like... Mm. Yeah, that's the type of people inside this place. No, no, no. Come on, see. Hello? Sorry, sister, sorry, sorry. Sorry, you can just go with it. Hey, girl. It's fine, it's fine. What is wrong with you? I'm just suffering from common code. You call this common code? Yes. Since you entered this place, you have to see how you call this common code. Of course, yes. It seems you have corona. Oh, no. You have corona, of course, yes. No, it's fine, sorry. No, it's fine. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. Mr. Don't Man, you have to you can go, don't go. Just, don't just leave, no, please. Stigmatization. Whatever, please, just leave. Just leave, Just leave. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you, Father Brahma and Father Furu for responding to our call. So we came late. But you know, because of COVID-19, everyone is busy. Because this COVID-19 is here to stay. And we need to do our stock out of it. So on that note, I'm so much sorry to you all for coming late fine, with my fine. colleagues. But we are all in it together. We call for this gathering in order to save peace among ourselves. Understand? So this is one community, one Gambia, and one people, one nation. So we know things are happening in our community, most especially during this COVID-19 time. We can count them, like the gender-based violence, the tribalism, political uh, uh, differences, religious intolerance. You can name them. We are facing them each and every day. But Yes, still there are problems that can be solved. Yes or no? Good. So we can come together and solve this problem. That is why today I decided with two of my sisters to come over, call Pa Furu and Pa Fa Grama and all the rest of the youth to come here and discuss issues like that. You know this is one community, very small community. But we are all answerable to one nation. That is the Gambia. But how can we build the Gambia? How can we develop the Gambia if there is no peace among ourselves? And that peace can be saved by coming together without considering tribalism, without considering our, our, our tribe differences, without saying this is a Mandinka, this one is a Fula, this one is a Jola, Mangyago, Sarawule, or any other language, by trying to put difference among ourselves. The same thing applies to our religious. We know the Gambia is known of two religions, Muslim, and Christianity. And these two have been respecting each other since colonial times. Until now, I think those respects should continue. We should not try to put difference because we are not from different, we are not from the same religious background. And the same thing applies to our political differences. I think we should stop calling each other like, this man is UDP, this one is NPP. APRC. We are all together. If NPP are the masters or the president of this country, I think they are all aiming to develop the Gambia. If UDP are the president of this country, they are aiming to develop the Gambia. If APRC are the masters of this country, they are also aiming to develop the Gambia. So we are all having the same aim, right? On that note, I thank you all for responding to our call. <coughs> Thank you very much. And what is your name? I am Keba. Keba uh, Danjo. Um, thank you, Keba Danjo. Well, some of the things you have mentioned here, I'm a victim of them. Understand? Several times I've been quarreling with Fab Brown. Because I was thinking like, if somebody tried to differentiate himself from you, you also have to differentiate yourself from the individual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I now come to realize that if somebody is trying to differentiate himself from you, why don't you show the passing humanity? 
Understand? Well, all, all you have said here is true. Understand? Tribalism has no place in the Gambia. Nepotism has no place in the Gambia. Election comes and goes. Political parties come and goes. But we still remain. Understand? I can recall one time I was quarreling with my wife because of these political issues, but I came to realize it should be like that way. She, the way she said, everybody vote for the party you want. After election, we all come back together and build the same nation. Okay, you are right. And it also means of discrimination. It has no place in our country. Because you are discriminating somebody. One day another person will discriminate you. That is the way it goes, generation to generation. And it will come to a time we start discriminating everyone everywhere. Understand? Well, now, I'm, like you said, I'm the elderly one here. They are young enough to be my children. And they are here. So if somebody is to put sense in them, it should be me and him. And I am going to promise myself what, have been, what I have been doing before, I will never do it again. Understand? I have my own son and daughter in our midst here. They will at least learn from my footsteps and know that yes, we can build this nation together. I am very happy youths like you can stand bold to call this gathering in this community to talk about peace. If youths like you can share peace out to make sure we see the forwardness of this nation, this nation will go. Because if the youths are ready to work with the government, as we say, you are the future leaders of tomorrow, this, 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 this nation will move forward. And I am very happy youths like you are very committed and determined in what you are doing. God will reward you guys. God will surely reward you guys. I am very, very happy for all of you. Now it is the responsibility of, for the, uh, of the rest of you to make sure they work in collaboration with the government. Vote for any party you want, but make sure you are not discriminating. Make sure you are not involved in tribalism. Make sure you are not involved in nepotism. No political difference, no religious difference. Whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, we are all created by the same God. And I am very happy people like you are ready to stand against all these things. Thank you very much for coming. I am very happy for all of you. Thank you so much, my son. And I really appreciate your coming you and your team. I will say once again, thank you all. There's a proverb which says, when spider will deny, they can tie up a lion. And I believe that when we come together as one nation, as one country, we can be as a nation and we can go forward. So on that note, I will thank you all. I really appreciate your coming. I'm left with nothing just to thank you for all your tips. I'm saying once again, thank you.